The maximum and minimum functions do just that. They find out what the highest value is in a range or what the lowest value is. So I want to come down in here and let's type in highest, enter, and let's do lowest. In fact, I can do parentheses. This will be the minimum function. Let me come back up here, double click, and let's do max. So you know the difference between the two. So what I want to find out is I want to select this range up above and find out, out of all these numbers in here, which one's the highest. Now just by eyeballing it, because it's so small, it's easily 220. But let's say it's a huge range and I don't know. So you can do this one of a couple of ways. I can either come up here on the Home tab over to the Editing group and click on the drop down arrow, the Sum arrow, and come down to Maximum. And then it's going to select a range, and it's not the correct range, so I'm going to have to click and drag the border up and move it just up, and then click and drag the corner of it so I can include this last cell here, C10. So it's C7 through C10, just hit enter, and it says out of all these numbers here, the highest number in that range is $220.15. Go to the next one and find it for February by coming to the Formulas tab, clicking on the Auto Sum, and there's also Maximum, or we can click on Insert Function, and there's the most recently used Maximum. Let's see, what if it wasn't recently used? I could select All for Maximum, or I think it's also under Statistical, and we can scroll down to the M's. There it is, Max. Then click OK. And then all it's saying here is what's the range that you want to go ahead and find the highest number within. Click on the Claps dialog box, click and drag, select the range, hit Enter, Enter, you're done. Now if that was too fast for you, you can pause the video or go ahead and replay it. Let's do it again. Let's come over here and let's do it a, a different way. You also have your recently used here, which includes Max. And then it's looking for C15 through D15. I mean, is that what we want? No, it's in the E column. So I collapse it click and drag, hit enter, hit enter, and I'm done. And then I can finally just click and drag the black autofill handle over and it updates it for me. That works great. How about minimum or the lowest number within this range? Well, eyeballing it, it's 110. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Click on the auto sum, go down to min, and then make sure you select the range. So I'm going to click and drag the border of these marching ants. So it's up at the top, so it begins in cell C7, and then click and drag the corner of it. So it stretches and includes all the way down to C10. You can see it up here. Hit enter. The minimum, 110 is 110. Click and drag the black autofill handle over to the right, and we're done. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.